Hello beautiful people and welcome to the book side of the internet. My name is Kristen. I'm so glad that you joined me here. <laughs> so I recently took a trip to New York because I think I have a small obsession. Um, I wanted to talk myself into or out of moving there. So that's what the whole trip was planned around. So of course while in New York I had to visit the popular bookstores and see what it's all about. Um, my sister was with me on the trip and she kept saying we basically just went on a book tour and I guess she was a little bit right like at first I was going by myself so I planned a book tour so I can see all of the bookstores in New York. I'm paying for her silence in blueberries. <laughs> Here. Okay, let's go. I gotta keep filming. So the first bookstore that we went to was Albertine, which I did not know was a French and English bookstore. And so I was a little confused when I went in there. I was also a little intimidated, so I didn't stay that long. But Albertine is probably the most Instagrammable bookstore ever. Um, on the second floor, they have celestial paintings on the ceiling. <sighs> Insert picture and clips here. It was amazing. This was like one of the first books I added to the list when I found out, not found out, when I booked the trip to New York because it was like, I needed to go here. I needed to see this for myself. And it was amazing. I'm out of breath a little bit because I talked really fast. I don't know. <laughs> at the hotel we took a little time to structure our days better and I did more research on bookstores since I'm in New Orleans it's hard to see all of the bookstores in New York but once I'm in New York I can go on Google Maps and just type in bookstores and more will pop up um, and I found out that there was an Amazon books five minutes from the hotel so I had heard about Amazon books from some other video and I thought it was so cool because I've seen the Amazon grocery store which is like you just put things in the cart and you don't talk to anybody you just leave which was really cool <laughs> um my introvert self loved that idea but this one was a little different we got there a little bit early so we did get some coffee and sit outside for a little bit but it was nice to be one of the first people in the store like everything was still chill people were still like they were still wiping down the counters but um it gave me time to look and browse more rather than being intimidated like I was at Albertine. One of the first things I noticed which was really cool was that they had two prices by their book. So a list price and an Amazon Prime price. And I have Amazon Prime through my mother so um, I got books at a discounted price. I also feel like the Prime price in the store was cheaper than even ordering online. And I think that might like account for shipping or something, but I got a book from there and I will show it in the haul at the end. One thing that I kept noticing was that they kept putting Akasoff in the YA section, which it is definitely not YA. It needs to be nowhere near YA. And so that was a little concerning. So it was at Amazon Books and like I think two other bookstores that I visited which we will get to in a minute so next up on our book tour was McNally Jackson which was on the list before we went out there we were actually walking to lunch um we had a reservation at 12 and we passed by and saw that they had a McNally Jackson right there which that location was not on my list so we went to lunch and we were like we're gonna hit that before we go do whatever we were going to do next and I'm so glad that we walked by that one because I think this one was my favorite bookstore of all of them. Um, it was very chill. It had a little cafe that wasn't open, but it was still like very cute. There were not that many people, so I was once again not intimidated. And the layout was just so cool. I love when bookstores have a room and then like separate rooms off of it. And that's what it was. Um, it would have been so much nicer if the city seating area was open because I would have stayed there so much longer um they also had very cool sectioning for like their books so they had like a if you want to leave the world section or things like that and i thought that was really cool i love how different bookstores market not market recommend different books and i thought that was very interesting and mcnally jackson was one of my favorite <laughs>
bookstore, I of course had to check and see if they had my favorite book of 2021. And McNally, McNally, <laughs> McNally Jackson had it. So shout out to them. That bumped them up a couple more stars on my list. Okay, so after that, we were we walked across the Brooklyn Bridge and we were in Brooklyn. So we decided to hit up Books Are Magic. Books Are Magic was another Instagrammable spot because of the artwork on the outside. And they had like a little neon sign, which was really cute. I accidentally got footage of a little boy falling off of his like bike or scooter. Um, but he was okay, everything is cool. He was very excited to go read his new book. So books equal band-aids emotionally and physically. This one wasn't as exciting for the books wise. It was more like just your normal layout of a bookstore. I did realize here, especially that New York has a lot of signed copies of books. It makes sense because it's New York, of course. So they're gonna have more people coming in to see their books in store. Um, I just thought that was a very interesting note. This one had like a whole shelf dedicated to signed copies. The next day we were in the Chelsea market for lunch, which we didn't end up eating lunch because a lot of places were closed, which also makes sense. Um, but we were just walking, browsing through the food places and we happened upon a bookstore. Um, I didn't see the name while I was there, but I did look it up afterwards and it's called Poseman Books. Um, what drew me to it was their postcards outside. I had been looking for some not cheesy postcards to like hang up on my wall and they had the cutest, they weren't postcards, but they were like cards like this. And I will also show those to you at the end. I'm so glad I found them. I wish I would have gotten more of them because they're just that stinking cute. So this was actually our last day, like full day in New York. And after lunch, my sister was kind of fed up with all the bookstores. So I ventured out on my own and went to Three Lives and Co, which is a very small bookstore, which is why I don't have a lot of footage from it. And they had like three workers, so I was like, a little nervous <laughs> don't want to film in here but I did get like a little view of a room and it was very small maybe like a room and a half but I also liked how they had like popular books or books that they recommended at the bottom of the bookshelves and so it was easy to pick up a book that they highly recommended one of my favorite things about going to the bookstores in new york was they all had little new york books sections and i thought that was very interesting and gave me an idea for future videos so look out for that i have been on the struggle bus since i started filming this video um i filmed a part for the se second mcnally jackson and the strand but i don't know where they went so here i am just gonna insert this in so that everyone's not confused <laughs> so basically i just said that the second mcnally jackson was not as great because there was too many people there and you know like i said i am not good with that many people but i did like that they had a very diverse um selection so they had different sections with like southeast asian or like african or like middle eastern books in different sections and all the books from those countries and i thought that was like a really good way to highlight um authors of color and yeah Okay, last but not least, I went to the Strand, which I literally have zero footage from because it was so crowded and it was hard to navigate. I do have like that one clip of the outside, which is basically the most important, I feel like. I will definitely on my next trip have to visit again and take more time. I was also very tired, like my feet were hurting, so that also played a part into it. I did end up buying two books from there though, so that was very exciting and I will show you in the haul, which is following right now. So the first book that I got was Lore from Amazon Books. Um, I was reading this on Luby at the time and I was enjoying it so much that I decided to get a physical copy of it and um, it was pretty cheap at Amazon. So yes, Lore. So from The Strand, I got Goodbye to All That, Writers on Loving and Leaving New York, which I thought was going to be very interesting. Spoiler alert, it was a two star, not that great. You will hear more about it in my wrap up. But yes, I got this book. And then also The Lonely City by Olivia Lang. Um, this is for a secret TBR. I'm sure you can probably guess what it's for. <laughs> Last up, I'm gonna show you guys all the postcards I got that you will be seeing in Flatlays on my Instagram very soon. So I don't remember the name of the store that we went into for these, but 
I got this little card. I hope it's not really shiny. It has like the New York skyline on it. And then I got this birthday card from my dad that says, I'm glad you exist. And it's the freaking universe. Isn't that so cute? Okay. And then at that store that I was telling you guys in Chelsea Market, these are the ones that I got that I'm so very excited for. Um, you saw a little preview in the clip, but it's the Flatiron Building on the New Yorker magazine. That is so cute. And then the Brooklyn Bridge, and they're like watching a movie on the greenery by it. I don't really know, but also like a New Yorker cover. And they had like a couple of these, and I'm mad that I did not grab more. At Albertine, I didn't get a book, so I really wanted a print to like remember it by. And I got this because it's so cute. A couple reading together in the stars. That is what I'm manifesting for my life. Um, so yes, I got that. And then I, of course, had to get the room with the stars on the ceiling. Um, I love that so much. And I'm glad that I found prints. They were all like $2 as well, so steal. Last but not least was the Strand bookstore where I got some. Um, these are actual postcards and I was very excited to find these. I got this one that says, I like big books and I cannot lie because that is true. I love a good big book. And then the Strand bookstore. My phone told me I had full um, storage, so it cut out, but I think I showed you all of this, right? Um, this Strand postcard and this one is like an infographic on books how cute is that and last but not least this is one of my favorite ones it's an outline like drawing of the strand with only the strand logo colored in red thank you guys so much for watching i hope i gave you a little inspiration for whenever you make your trip to new york and leave in the comments below what your favorite bookstore was out of all of the ones that i visited i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye. Cool, cool, cool. Welcome. Hello. I have an audience today. Um, it's my niece. <laughs> if you hear her giggling at me in the background, it is her to New York. So let me just see what it's about. If you hear giggling, I'm so sorry. I cannot make her stop. I guess I'm funny.